previously on inmates. Do you know who you're fucking with? Do you have any idea the amount of shit you have just brought on yourself? A guy in a bar, just some nameless bar, not the one you were in, someplace downtown. And Mickey! Come on, man. You've you got to go home sometime. Supposed to be easy. Supposed to be an easy job. And he looks down at like a like a printed out like a an actual photo of a of a group of guys to the side of the picture is a white delivery van <laughs> a large reptilian frame walks across some sort of like spaceship deck do we know where the relay is yes commander we must Recover the relay. And then he goes, for the Archon. And he holds out his chakra. At some point, as we're going back to our cells, uh, I will look at Liberator. And she's very clearly asking you, like, does he fucking know there's something wrong with you? Only one of us has a kill switch. Next time, when I give you an order, follow it. How did the suit perform? Good. It was good. Yeah. When do you want my full report? They expect it on the desk uh, no later than end of day. Awesome. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll do that for you, boss. That's all good. You did good out there, kid. Here at the Avery building, where an ongoing hostage situation has resulted in a stalemate between one James McManus and the local authorities. Known by Mickey amongst his friends, authorities report that he entered the 10th floor offices of Thompson and Rye Associates, brandishing weapons and taking the employees present hostage. Police have been unable to enter the building or regain sight of those inside due to all the windows being covered in what is suspected to be Kevlar blankets. No apparent demands have been made, though one of the window coverings does have the word Liberator, seemingly spray-painted on it. This terrible crisis comes only months after a tragedy struck these very offices, where an enhanced individual manifested, causing terrible loss. The warden just kind of turns off the TV and turns and looks to Liberator as he stares at very familiar-looking offices. Well, normally I wouldn't send you in for a hostage situation, as the local authorities can genuinely handle this sort of thing, but this individual seems to be requesting you specifically. According to uh, my own experience and from what Dr. Mills has been able to ascertain, the individual inside does seem to have a a rather uh, impressive level of tactical knowledge. The Kevlar blankets are sure to uh, not on, not only block out uh, sights, but also make any sort of sniper uh, much less efficient. There is no line of sight. The building, 14 stories and all, does have multiple ingress points, but the floor itself where the office is has been entirely locked down by Mr. McManus. Now, we've tried to uh, find out whatever we can about Mr. McManus, but the only thing we've been able to uh, learn is that he is a uh, Afghanistan, Afghanistan veteran um, where he ser served as Army Infantry. He uh, he served a single tour. Uh, him and his uh, fellow soldiers all brought back uh, seemingly together at the same time following a uh, IED situation. Now, it seems that Mr. McManus has jumped from job to job since uh, since the uh, return from his deployment. 
but the curious thing is we've been unable to find, at least on record, any form of official employment over the last uh, few weeks, uh, going well into a couple months. We this is entirely uh, this is entirely a normal occurrence in the city, but uh, what this likely means is Miss McManus is working under the table, as they say, a uh, term I still don't understand. Now, because of this situation, and because your name specifically has been requested, Liberator, as well as the specific location uh, that this hostage situation is occurring at, I've decided that in, in this particular instance, I'm going to send you all to try and defuse this situation. The local authorities have not been particularly helpful with us, so you may need to touch base with them. Mind you, you have no official authority there, so they do not have to acquiesce to any, uh, for any information request, nor do they have to cooperate with you. The good thing is, is that any sort of heroing that you do is uh, covered under uh, a number of the laws established uh, by the uh, years of vigilant precedent. Now, obviously, there are innocent lives on the line, both in the uh, in the office itself and the surrounding uh, area. Property damage is something we're going to have to be very careful about. The rest of the building is said to have been evacuated, but again, I don't have any reliable information as the local uh, authorities are not being particularly cooperative. Does anyone have questions? I can provide what answers I can. Yes, Crash? If he's working under the table, why don't we just move the table or lift it that's what i thought but apparently it means when someone is working for money but they're not telling anyone that they're working for money mm -hmm. i don't know where the under the table thing comes from okay well it's an idiom and it means had the the exchange of money without people seeing so because it happens under the table that's that's why the oh, saying comes. Oh, so they're actually passing the money back and forth under. I, Figuratively I, speaking, I think I understand. They may pass it under the table. That may be the case in certain things, but for the most part, it just means on the down low, as it were. So, Warden. Yes. They are on the tenth, tenth floor of fourteen floors. Fourteen. And do without any support from local law enforcement, are we able to utilize any means necessary to see inside that building or to do what needs to be done? Well, uh, we need the safety of the uh, of the hostages is paramount, more so than any other, more so than anything else. We also have to be careful of, again, property damage so that we do not uh, cause any sort of debris to fall or anything on the surrounding uh, gathered crowd or the, uh, or the local authorities who have gathered. It's becoming quite a media spectacle. Um, beyond that, um, I've, been, I've been around long enough that sometimes people are very creative about accessing things they shouldn't and um, again my concern is more about uh, saving the people inside and after that uh, seeing that Mr. McManus gets the help he needs speaking of which he's asking for liberators specifically is this someone like we should be aware of he hasn't answered any questions and he hasn't responded to any uh, contact from the authorities. Again, as far as I know, according to uh, Dr. Mills, there has been no crossover between 
uh, Liberator and Mr. McManus. Oh, so you don't uh, know him, Liberator? Unfortunately not. He knows you. Apparently. Do we have any information regarding uh, Mr. McManus's... From what we've understood, Mr. McManus is... Uh, Mr. McManus was employed as a dock worker. It was his last uh, official <laughs> form of employment. He has uh, he has not uh, he has not collected any uh, any money since then. There has been no movement in his bank account, which I am told is quite low. Again, that's Mr. Mill, Doctor Mills, who told me that. I think the better um, question is, Liberator, have you spent any time in the Middle East? No. Oh, he was a dock worker, right? Were we just on the docks? Yeah, that's why my mind's up. Well, saving me. Big scene, there. We Talk about how there's... Sorry, yeah. Go on. Please, on. We believe that there is a... This has happened uh, late morning. No one had even gone to lunch yet. The, uh... Fortunately, the building itself, many of the individuals have since um, have since left either because they uh, were unaware of the situation or because the police have gotten them out. But it is uh, midday. Traffic is at uh, an all time high. There's a the street has been mostly cordoned off. But again, uh, local news outlets, onlookers and the authorities themselves have all uh, have all gathered. Do we have an idea of how many hostages? Again, we don't know exactly, but I believe uh, I believe that the uh, local authorities have said that there is a uh, a large number of people in the office. Atlas, can you still not hear me well? You're yeah, just quieter than you. ever. You're just quiet. I can hear you. It's just like when, when there's multiple, I lose you completely. Like you, everyone else seems so much louder than you. That's all. I don't know if it's your mic or if it's. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to move my mic a little bit further away because you hear my breathing in every audio. Oh. <laughs> like, I can move it closer and then you'll know. But again, because the uh, because the local authorities are being incredibly uncooperative, I think they don't necessarily agree with the uh, program that uh, I'm trying to establish here. Um, they they haven't been particularly forthcoming. They may be more forthcoming to. Uh, in-person requests for information, but um, I can't say for certain. Has he specified whether he wants to see me alone? To my knowledge, that one uh, writing of your uh, of your name on the uh, Kevlar blanket is the only demand that has been made. Well, I think I, sh- I, th- I think I should go in there alone. Well, my plan was to teleport you to uh one of the unoccupied near t- nearby rooftops um and then you could s- discuss the operations from there now far be it for me to be uh uh an armchair coach here but i have hel- i have handled this uh sort of situation once or twice back in my day um crash you're going to have to be very careful uh, people of our strength can un- often make these situations worse by bringing the building down or uh, causing debris to rain down upon the citizens. Um, but you will definitely be needed. Halo, you have a partic- particular set of skills which may be helpful in acquiring information. Um, Cypher, I don't know what sort of surveillance the building itself has. Um, but you may be able to do the bone thing. I, I'm not exactly. Mm-hmm. It's not really my. I remember that time in Milwaukee that you walked into with the hostages. Yes, you uh, you put up uh, quite a fight for those few seconds. Yeah. Mm. A few seconds. A few hours. We'll debate it later. No, no, my memory is pretty good. Uh, the, the situation, the hostage situation, took a long time. Your your traps were pretty ingenious, but uh, um, 
your armor was, well, never up to a good old, no. well, hopefully <laughs> we can use this the other way this time. Now, I understand that they have SWAT there and they specifically have a hostage negotiator. These are tri- these are New York City's finest trained specialists in this sort of situation, and they have not been able to uh, uh, g- get any progress on the situation. So everyone be mindful that uh, Mr. McManus apparently has skills far beyond what his uh, Afghanistan service report says. Okay. Now, is everyone ready? Yep. It's all yeah. Right. yeah. Doc patched me up good. Let's go. All right. Um, report to the uh, transport pad. You know where it is. Uh, Dr. Mills will uh, meet you there with any additional information. Yes, sir. So you guys can get this. Yep, I'll go. Everyone get yeah, headed on out. Him. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll lean over to Halo. Hey, uh, is he still the team leader? I'm just one. Cipher is definitely not. No. Well, I, I didn't know. Oh, like okay. last time? Yeah. That was just a you and me thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they uh, delicate situations call for delicate matters. Totally with that. Okay. She'll just kind of elbow him and walk up the door. <laughs> Follows. So you guys get making your way out through the... Oh! Sorry. I just knocked my entire light over. I'm so sorry. Give me two seconds. Um, you guys get making your way past the, uh, you know, down the hallways, you know, these white sort of, these white sort of, uh, you know, Apple store style kind of like halls, like pristine with the kind of, uh, recessed kind of terrariums. Um, the entire place is, is sterile feeling broken up by these, you know, these patches of gorgeous green and plants, whatnot built into the walls. And then when you get headed by, you get headed by, you know, various of the white walled prison cells where you see different, um, you know, different prisoners, you know, different like super people. But as you get making your way towards the transfer pad, you guys find yourself making your way past the one prison cell that always looks different. The one that's absolutely opaque, covered in black soot. Mm-hmm. And as you get making your way past it, um, I need everyone but Crash to give me an insight roll. What do I do for a walk faster roll? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't fuck about that cell. <laughs> okay, twenty-five. Ah, oh, shit, seven. We playing <laughs> big tonight, boys. <clears throat> Twenty-three. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, mm-hmm. Liberator, you're just kind of making your way, like you're focused. You know, your your mind's on other things. But as you're walking by the cell, um, Cipher, you kind of notice, um, the cell, which is you you haven't kind of been wandering back and forth as much as they have, um, but you notice the cell. Um, what you notice more is trash, kind of like kind of like kind of like lumbers a little bit like he and he kind of like he walks very carefully by it like an animal walking by something he doesn't know what it is or something that's like making a noise you know like a cat skirting the the vacuum cleaner you know like he he (laughs) certainly seems very wary of it and halo you immediately notice that crashes uncomfortable by that cell it definitely um i am like you you can see that he's he's disturbed and you know Haley kind of uh, i presume just by reflex kind of reach out towards him yeah oh Um, yeah that's like when your dog's bark changes and you can hear the uh, change 
So crushes Crash. your dog. No. No. <laughs> so Crash, Crash is my bestie. You you can you can feel it again. Yeah. Like the presence from that cell is rot. It 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 feels like it feels like burning burning trash, you know, acrid. Um and it, it makes you physically kind of nauseous just being near this cell. Patrick <laughs> <laughs> used to hustle towards the cell. Yeah. All right. Don't like it. Mm-mm. You guys make your way back. So if you kind of look at that cell for a little bit. Make your way past, and you guys get to the transport pad, you know, um, which is you know just another one of these white rooms with a single kind of round, like metal disc in the uh, middle of the room, um, slightly depressed, like you actually have to take a, the slightest step down. Um, there's a bunch of different like kind of consoles, whatnot, and you uh, see Doctor Mills there. You know, looking at a tablet. And he uh, he kind of continues to mouth something, like he's reading something. And uh, he kind of turns as you kind of walk in. Oh, good, you're all here. We have the teleportation pad set up to uh, transport a lot of you to the nearest... Uh, rooftop location capable of sustaining your weight. It took some time to uh, get the proper calculations since they do not update these records and you have to be skeptical of the architect's uh, designs. But uh, you should all be able to uh, walk on this rooftop fairly easily. You're approximately uh, two buildings away. Once you're transported there, that will also be your extraction point if you uh, finish early or you require it in an emergency. The transportation pad will require some uh, recalibration should you acquire the individual in question and they require our level of detainment. We, uh... Be super concerned about that? Well, the situation, as I'm sure Cypher would agree, is curious. Mr. McManus was regular infantry in the Afghanistan war. His skill set is nothing impressive. His uh, entry scores were nothing of note. Mr. McManus does not have a particularly interesting high school record. He has no college degree. He has no skill set that would determine anything other than basic firearms proficiency as taught by the U.S. military and uh, the basic hand-to-hand combat also taught by it. Certainly taking him a level above the uh, average civilian, but certainly nothing that would indicate someone capable of stumping uh, the specialized response teams of New York City SWAT. It is... While, while the doctor's talking about this, Cypher is also bringing up all the information he can by tapping into the tablet. So he's now seeing it all. You're trying to hack... You're trying to hack Rake, Dr. Mill's tablet? I'm trying to sort of get a mirror version of it, yeah. Okay, uh, give me a technology roll. Let's hack more sync. <laughs> Sink it. Sink it. Uh, there's only a 14 in total. Uh, Sink it real good. He, uh, he just kind of looks at you. You're trying to, you're like trying to, you know, from there, you're trying to hack in things, just doing everything from the inside of the suit. And he doesn't even acknowledge your hacking attempts. You are certain he is aware. I say, I need, I need the knowledge too. That's why I'm doing it. Doing what? He um. He looks. It is disconnect between what we know about the man and what we are seeing. Those two things do not reconcile based on the information we have. I have a question. 
now the the circumstances would indicate that one should be cautious that perhaps there is some sort of heightened ability that he has gained in order to achieve this. Or, barring that, the involvement of an additional party. Sorry, Doctor, just one second. I believe my friend over there had a question. I have a question. How tall is the building we're landing on? The building itself is 14 stories tall. I don't know exactly. Uh, 14, that's the same number as the other building, right? That yeah. the hostages are in? The the hostages are in the uh, Avery building, which is 14 stories tall. Yes. So both buildings okay. are 14 stories. Yes. So same. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Good question, buddy. Thanks. Now, whether there's information we don't have, whether Doctor, Mc, uh, whether Mister McManus has been somehow enhanced or has skill sets we're unaware of, um, or he has allied himself with a additional individual, we cannot say. But all we know right now is that uh, he is certainly more threatening than all the information we have would indicate. And considering hostage takers always have the advantage in the situation, one should be mindful. The one skill set I think that may be of particular interest is Mr. McManus's entire uh, squad was in fact uh, privy to a pretty terrible IED attack. He himself may have taken an interest in improvised explosive devices in that in that situation, he himself might have some explosive smeller. Good to know. Okay. So watch for you fly or run or drop or stomp. Oh. Just see what he wants with our, our boy Liberator here. Let's go. She kind of like rolls her shoulder and like goes to give the doc a high five before the other hand goes out for her rings. The, uh, you kind of put your hand out and, you know, one of the uh, kind of like one of like almost like the built in lockers in the wall kind of opens on up. And they kind of fly into hand like both of them kind of like into the one hand. Um, I need everybody to give me a perception roll. Oh, that's going to be oh. good. I'm good at that. Oh, but I rolled bad. Fifteen. Uh, it's going to be 20 on the nose. 27. 20. 20. 20. Why don't the potato chips up there? 20 of the session. Uh, 27. 29. Nice. All right. Um, Liberator, like, as you start making your way towards the, uh, the transport pad, um, the doctor immediately kind of goes back to looking at his, uh, tablet and he's he's kind of muttering to himself um he can't quite make out what it is because um unfortunately because we are heightened senses you can start hearing the thrum of the pad kind of powering up so it kind of creates this sort of white noise um halo he continues to say alzandua alzandua as uh, as an dua as an dua as an dua, and he he keeps saying this word that means nothing to you, but he he keeps changing, like he's trying to figure out the proper way of saying it. Um, crash. You have heard a lot of human languages since you awoke. Um, this doesn't sound like the human languages you've heard. I mean, you you came from Africa, you know, you, you've heard all these different languages and then you came, to, you know, to America, heard a bunch of different others. You've been in New York City, heard about... It, it doesn't sound right to you. It doesn't sound like some human speak. Cypher, um, that sounds like Zytar. Um, 
which is one, uh, the language of the aliens which invaded back in the eighties, which brought about the uh, the current age of superheroes. Um, and it is a race that has only seen one time since the eighties. Um, is the the Zytar invasion back in the eighties literally is what caused like superhero teams to start forming. Before that, it was very isolated in like World War, you know. Two. There's rumors that some go back even further, but the eighties was when it happened. The team Vigilant, which is the most renowned team known to exist, interestingly enough, the team the Warden was on for many years. Um was formed as a result of that invasion. But he is safer, he is legit saying a a Zytar word. Like you are familiar with the language in passing. Like you can you would yeah. recognize it. You don't know what it means. Yeah. So I'm guessing what I'm gonna do then Cypher sort of slows down a bit, lets everyone sort of part. And he slowly turns to the doctor and goes, What's the Zytar word you're saying? He turns and looks at you. We have been studying the broken polyhedral, which you recovered the piece from during your last outing. We have able to decipher some Zytar script on it. Um, the term that we have been able to ascertain is Alzandua, which doesn't match any of our records of the Zaitar language. We don't know if it is a partial a partial script of a larger word or if it has some sort of meaning that we have not been able to decipher. So the polyhedral is possibly Zaitar. The first immediate conclusion is that the polyhedral is in fact Zaitarian, but we only know that the polyhedral has Zaitar script upon it. We do not know for certain based on the data that the object itself is of Zaitar design. It doesn't match anything. And he glances very, very pointedly towards uh, Halo's Chakram. Who is pointedly not even paying attention to that conversation. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> It doesn't match Zaitar design language. I have an understanding of Zaitar in if there's any questions, Doctor, I'm always around. I yeah, may he turns to stop. He goes, I may refer to your expertise on the matter. Okay. I'll see you when I get back. He turns me to the so, yes, teacher. No, teacher. I'm just sitting on. <laughs> I'm always around. Yeah, you don't give him his phone number. Just give him his cell number. <laughs> why don't Why don't you just fuck his leg while you're at it? <laughs> oh, he might like that too much. It's so, not what you know. It's who you know. <laughs> but um, you guys get you onto the apparently. transport bed, you know, and then there's that, that strange sort of digitizing of everything around you. Everything kind of breaks down into low-res block. And there's that brief feeling almost of like weightlessness. And then everything goes back into high-res and you're standing on the rooftop of a New York City building. It is a gorgeous day. The sky is mostly blue with giant fluffy clouds way up in the sky it's warm you know what i mean almost almost uncomfortable for some people you know it's it's like 80 degrees that one looks like me it, it does, does. Wow. it does yeah it does well done. huh. um okay. the uh the city still has all its normal sounds the horns the cars the people but you can also kind of hear like muffled megaphones every so often 
And you can see plainly from where you guys are, you're a couple buildings over. There's like a shorter building between you guys and the building in question. Okay? The Avery building. The Avery building has, again, plain, as plain as can be, you see there's a number of SWAT already up there on top. You can see they have uh, put in repelling spikes. Um, Do we know a significance about the Avery building? Like, what is it? Is that common is, knowledge? The Avery building is just the name of the building. A lot of buildings in New York City um, have names. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't know anything off the top of your head about it. You can give me a streetwise or an investigation if you like. Anyone can give me a streetwise or investigation or any knowledge you want to roll. I'll make I'll make it work. Um, any expertise you want to roll, I'll make it work. Yeah, because I have neither of those. Yes. Anyone I can roll? Anyone you want to roll, I will make it work. Oh, you're a gem. No business. <laughs> no business. No business. Uh, it's no nope. business. No business of yours. Uh, 17 expertise alien? That's all okay. I got. <laughs> what'd, you, uh, what'd you get, uh, Cypher? Nine. No. <laughs> uh, Crash Liberator, you guys rolling? Sorry, the back of the pot. No, no, I'm. Go. Okay. Right. I don't see. I don't see it being necessarily um, relevant at the moment. Uh, st strangely, Cipher, that's your problem. Like Avery Building, it doesn't have gems, high technology, anything. Where it's, it, it, why would you? Why would it's insignificant? It is so far beneath you. Y'all um, apparently hire the middle class. There's always a reason for a location. She didn't um, say that, but she's thinking it. And what did you get, Halo? 17. Uh, 17. Um, the Avery building, you do remember. Um, because uh, a few months-ish ago, apparently a uh, you had heard about the enhanced individual emerging at that location. Um, it, was, it was pretty bad. It was a worker there who uh, supposedly developed powers and accidentally trashed the place. Uh, it said someone even died. Right. Um, and at first, people, you know, people always worry about this, that, the other thing. But you remember it specifically because some people were worried that it was like another alien attack because it's just some random office building. Um, but what were his powers or her? I guess. Um. They uh they say there's not much there because um they were pretty quickly detained uh by a kind of um you know they they were pretty quickly detained by other enhanced individuals um but it is said that they had uh they had some sort of uh, super durability and super strength. Um, but, uh, the thing you remember most is that it was, it was a, some sort of law firm, but not like okay. it, but apparently it was, it was strange. It was a law firm, but it wasn't like people think of like the, they're not the sort of people who like, you know, like sue you for car accidents or something like that. No, I got you. But yeah, no, so you you distinctly remember um in matter of fact like you you're you are fairly certain um it was on the 10th floor that it happened. Okay. But yeah, so there you guys are on top of this uh on top of this building, probably an apartment building, you're not exactly sure. Um the rooftops like mostly empty. You can still see a slight sort of kind of like almost like a steam in a circle where like the perimeter of the transport pad would be but um okay. it's gorgeous okay so i think mr mcmanus is a pawn i'm gonna go ahead and say it those are my thoughts so his abilities can be accounted for but if he's got equipment with his job, he wouldn't have been able to afford it. Someone is bankrolling him. I mean, looking at the information, dog pad. Yeah, this 
Afghanistan shouldn't have been able to do what he's done. Just even with that. yeah, even with enhanced abilities, that doesn't account for the equipment. To how we're approaching this, um, I think I've got to go in alone. He can go in alone. The rest of us start cipher. If you can start evaluating the building structure, blueprints, anything to see how we can get people out. I can do recon. He turns and starts turning on his infravision to sort of see through the see heat signatures and everything. Um. So you're going to do that? Is anyone else going anywhere doing anything for the moment? Crash is going to go hang out with some pigeons on, on the corner of the building. Stop. I'm going to end up buying a Team Crash shirt, and I'm supposed to be supporting my own team. I am I am partial to, the, to giving our friend Crash a lift over. Did you say the... Sorry, Connell. Did you say the SWAT were on the roof of there this is, building? There is some SWAT on Damn the it. roof of the Avery building in particular. Hmm. Um, they're clearly getting the uh, repelling lines ready in case they're going to do the, you know, jump down and, like, breach through the windows. And we know can... he's on the 10th floor, but we don't know about the hostages. True. He's on the 14th. Is he on the 10th or the 14th? He's on the... He's on the, 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 the building is 14 stories tall. Right. He's on the he's on the 10th. He's on the 10th. Right. Um, the office itself is supposedly on the 10th. Whether the how, hostages are in that same area, you're not sure. Okay, so how about before I go in, I go speak to the person in charge down there. See if I can get an allowance to get our friend Crash on top of that building. That sounds like a better plan. And, and then and then I'll go in, but Crash is there. Crash won't take very long if he has to get to me. Can I see... Can I see people from where we are? Like, if I just, like, look over the edge, can I see, like, the cop members and the SWAT members? Oh, and... yeah, you can see police. Oh. I'm like the building scan. is the building is absolutely surrounded. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna scan for any anything that sticks out as like beneficial information. Um even the, bystanders, like if someone's watching. The building is surrounded. It's cordoned off, uh pretty much on all sides. The um the street, the sidewalk across from the building is just lined with onlookers like just absolutely lined there are police cars kind of lining in front of the street and there's around the one corner there's a couple of the uh, SWAT vans um I mean there's easily 100 200 people on site easy just okay, yeah everywhere I'll, just, I'll start that my, my thing while they're doing all of that is i'll start scanning i know it'll take a little bit right. but, okay yeah. cypher is there any way you can find out who's in charge and if they've got a contact number yes okay i want to speak to them via phone first so i start to um give me a technology role cypher um mm-hmm. Halo, give me a perception roll. Um, Crash, give me a perception roll as well. A pigeon a, roll. Hey, pigeon. So I forgot a 21. 25. 22. Okay. So, um... Sorry, what were we rolling? Because you kind of broke up. Oh, am I breaking up? I'm sorry. No, you no, I did a minute ago. I, I didn't know everyone was rolling something. Uh-huh. No, no I, I didn't ask you to roll anything. There. Uh, no. okay. Um. So, Cypher, you very easily, you know, managed to kind of go. Uh, you kind of like first go to like the news reports, then you kind of look at some of the uh, some of the footage. And then you find what looks like a detective in charge. Uh, looks like there's a uh, a Hispanic woman um, in plain clothes uh, standing by kind of one of the cars, like uh, like looking at her, like looking at her phone while a SWAT officer talks to her. Um, from that, it's pretty easy from uh, facial recognition to wind up uh, searching her up, and then it is a brief sort of. Uh, poke into um the uh 
the a kind of uh, officer listing of uh, uh, some of the nearby precincts to uh, find the match. And then it's just a slight invasion of privacy later where you are able to acquire the uh, the number from the police files. He's a villain. Um, it's fine. Halo, you're kind of scanning. Um, and there's all sorts of there's all sorts of people there. Um, and all of them are like kind of just, you know, they're just onlookers, you know, like, ooh, like something's going on. This is exciting, you know, that sort of thing. Um, just gawking. Um, the police seem frustrated from what kind of ambiently you're picking up. Um, it seems like they are being the normal street cops mm-hmm. are kind of uh, being stopped by like the detective and SWAT and SWAT seems very frustrated that they are kind of encountering a bunch of blocks to what they're doing. Um, there's the tension level is high amongst the authorities. Um, and they seem almost eager to breathe. There's, there's, the authorities, the, the police tension is, is very high, both the, the street cops and SWAT. Um, and it looks like everyone's getting already getting tired of waiting. Um, Crash, you kind of go on over and kind of deal with the birds. And the birds seem a little off. Like they, they just, they seem a little kind of like nervous now these are like you know these are like pigeons whatnot you know like they're not they're not stressed out by the sounds of the cars or anything like that but something's kind of weirding them out and you're trying to like calm them down and you're just there kind of talking at the at the pigeons who aren't like they don't immediately like hop on you and like disney right. princess that's, that's, but they don't wander away from you you know you are not a threat you're an herbivore yeah you're an herbivore <laughs> they're not worried about it um <laughs> so they just crash kinda, so much he's so they're disney just princess it's, a, it's gonna happen now but then, um, but then crash, you stop and you think you know what's bothering them. You hear very, very, very faintly this sort of, um, is it a chanting or is it a, no, it's like machine a, humming? a humming. It's some sort of machinery, like very, very, it sounds, it almost sounds like a, a fan or something, but it's very, very faint and hard to hear like even for you who have pretty good hearing um and the weird thing is is it sounds close but not like that doesn't make sense because it doesn't also it also it doesn't sound like it's on the building hey, hey liberator yeah you hear that you hear that humming oh natural 20 hey yeah Liberator, he kind of walks over and he goes, you hear that humming? And you're like, and you're like, and then you just kind of tilt your head and you hear it. It is the distinct sound of machinery, of rotors, quieted rotors, maybe rubber plastic blades in a uh, quieted house. And so you kind of walk over towards the edge. The pigeons flutter away. No, friends. Sorry, sorry, oh, Crush. It's and okay. You look out and look down, and like against the wall, right? Um, kind of right underneath the fire, one of the fire escapes. You can like see through the grate. You see a a drone, like a like a remote controlled, almost like off the shelf style drone. Just hovering on like a fire escape landing, not on top of it, but underneath it, like almost up against the grating. Um, it's super quiet and it definitely has, it looks like it has a camera on it, right? And you look at it and you're like, that's, and then you realize that you're hearing it in more than one location. So you just kind of stop and you look, look, and then you look on out. And you see another building on the other side of the Avery building, the big HVAC units on top. You see there's another one, like, right on top of it. 
like just again another drone with a camera um, whatever we're deciding to do should probably happen sooner than later uh it's sci-fi. getting real tense down there um we've got company we've got uh crash pick something out can you see these drones and i will point out where i'm seeing them um so look. you kind of look on out um and you have uh extended vision you have infrared vision so you just kind of look, look on out um Give me a perception roll there, Cypher. Uh, oh. Interesting. Four. Okay. 26. Um, Cypher, you kind of see them. You're, you know, enhanced. And you look. Um, and you can see the one out there. And you kind of go over and glance over. Crash, your birds are never coming back. Um. Aww. Okay, all I'm going to say is oh. animals sense things. They know personalities. Okay. Yeah. Um, but back. you kind of look over the uh, look over the edge, and you see the one there, and you're like, huh. And then you look out at the other one that he points out. There's a number of issues, Cypher. One, someone has specifically modified the rotors of these to be quieter. Both the inner housing and the rotors themselves are quieter. Like making them very hard to hear. Two, it looks like they have an off-the-shelf like 1080p camera on it, right? Um, so like a decent a decent resolution camera. Mm. You don't see anything that would indicate weapons or anything like that. But what you do notice, the most disturbing thing beyond how they've been quieted, that's, you know, people could do that. They also seem to have a self-contained coolant system in them, keeping them at ambient temperature. You can barely see them in infrared. So somebody's watching which us. Is, which is definitely hard to do. The interesting thing is, uh, Liberator, is they are definitely placed in such a way that they're watching the building and the situation but they don't seem to be pointed at you or even in line of sight of you if I were to get you one of these can you figure out where the signal's coming from I did attempt there nah I... it couldn't be too hard so while we're talking I have the details of the person in charge, if you would like to talk to them. Yeah, they're about um, to bust he's... those doors down. Okay, patch me through. What's the name? So, uh, it's a Lucia Perez. Okay. It's Detective Perez. And I sort of do a couple of button presses, and all of a sudden I'm like, it should be ringing now. Thank you. So on his calm set, it will okay, start. Yep. The phone starts to ring, and it picks up pretty quickly. Detective Perez? Hello, Detective. Um, my name is Liberator. I have a I feeling that you, you may be... Up. Yeah, I will be down shortly. There's just a couple of things I need to take care of, and a couple of assurances I need before I do. Well, before you go and do anything, I think you should run it by me since I'm in charge of this situation. I'll come down and see you. But I've got a couple of requests. You come down and see me. We'll discuss any requests. Yeah, but before I do, I've got a colleague that I would like to put on top of the Viavery building. Oh, a colleague. Yeah. Which, Which colleague is this? He's my rhino friend. Okay. You happy with that? For now. Okay. The other thing I need to ask: Do you have uh, do you have drones about watching this um, the current situation? Not outside. We have uh, we have some uh, we have some explosive uh, explosive drones inside the building, sniffing out given. Uh, Given Mr. McManus's uh, service history, we're worried that he may have uh, rigged the building to blow. 
Understandable. Okay. All right, I'll be down shortly, and I will run, and I will come and see you first. See you soon. See, see you soon. Up. Ugh. All right. I, I, I hey. was thinking. Yes, I, 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 I was thinking. So remember how we do stuff and it's on TV? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Um, And we know that they're asking for you. Yeah. So we think this is a trap for you, right? Yeah, 100%. Some sort of setup, yeah. And you think that maybe those things are going to put what we do on TV? My guess is they're going to try to put me in a compromising position. Or put what we don't do on TV. If we don't manage to get them all out, if this is a failed situation. Give me some time with those drones and I'll make sure no one can see anything. Okay. I'll be back in a second. And I'm just going to fly full pelt and grab that drone that's under the fire escape. All right. Um, while we're just routinely whatevering, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna connect to, uh, Crash. Just casually. There's nothing about the situation that feels good. I'm on fucking edge. Like, I'm gonna connect with the unicorn. You're always <laughs> on fucking edge. I, yeah. <laughs> I got a it's team. It's my day off. Yeah. I got bit last time. You ain't even... Mm. Nah. Um. Give me an unarmed roll there, Liberator. Unarmed. That is gonna be a twenty-three. Okay. I did that correctly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Liberator just kind of. Are you trying to get the one under the fire escape? You said the one. Closest like right one. I didn't need one yeah. of them. So he just kind of looks over the edge, and then he like. Floats up and then and he just soars down you soar down swoop under the uh under the fire escape just grab it mm-hmm. and where are you going with it i'm taking it back to cypher i'm gonna make sure the camera's not pointed at me when he's bringing it over i'm just gonna sort of dodge out of the way and i can sort of Get it? No, I'm not <laughs> selfie. I'm gonna. Cipher's gonna try and if he's gonna give it to Cipher, Cipher's gonna point it at the building and sort of slowly lower it down so, so it's sort of he gets uh, flying on over. Halo, you're kind of looking at the, uh, looking at the uh, kind of the crowd here in detention. You kind of turn and look at Crash. So he's still kind of over by the, uh, you know, the fire escape section, right? Trying to find the pigeons. Yeah. Um waiting for the pigeons to come back. And then Liberator kind of floats back up. This uh, this drone just... There you go. Everybody make me a dodge save. Oh! It's gonna explode, isn't it? Ooh, I rolled well. I rolled a good... I did a good roll. Oh, I'm 25. 12. Oh! Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that's right. That's well, right. That makes sense for your build. Okay, now everyone give me a toughness save. All right. Ooh, that's a 30. It's a 26. It's a 19. I, I, would like to a stand, I would like to stand in front of On your toughness? Yeah. Okay. What'd you roll? Hold on. 15. Oh. Now I need... Yeah. I need interpose. That's what I, I need you a... You do need interpose. <laughs> I need a will save. From uh, Liberator and fuck. Halo. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, no, my, my will's fucking great. Not today, though. Fuck. 16. How the fuck did you roll higher than me? 14. I rolled a 2. Well, that's how I rolled higher than you. My number was bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a thing called... Con- concentric numbers they go up sometimes uh, genetics because yeah. <laughs> i was raised right that's why I right. was. What, oh yeah what did you yeah. get what did right. you get? i went to sunday school oh, i taught what? sunday school halo what did you oh, get that's why your numbers are lower <laughs> probably 14 
Oh. What did you get, Liberator? I got 16. Oh, yeah, that won't do. Um, it's one of those things you look back in your life and go, why did right. I do that? You have the drone. You're kind of extending it towards uh, Cypher. Cypher, you're already kind of reaching towards it to kind of, like, see if it has any access panels, whatnot. <laughs> it explodes. <laughs> In such a massive, powerful explosion, right off the top, 